Hi friends, today I will explain about unloading data in Snowflake. As of today, we have seen how to load data from external stages and internal stages into Snowflake tables. So unloading means just reverse of loading. That means how we can load the data into external stages and internal stages from Snowflake tables. Suppose external stages means like AWS S3 buckets or Azure containers or Google Cloud Storage. So we can do we can do this by using the same storage integration objects and by creating stages. Okay, we'll see today how we can unload the data into files that present in AWS S3 buckets. Okay. Okay. So what is the unloading process first of all. So what are the steps involved in unloading the data from tables into files or internal stages. Okay. So the process from the process for unloading data into files is same as the loading process just in reverse. Okay. The first step is use the copy command to copy the data from Snowflake database table into one or more files in the Snowflake internal stage or external stage. That means we have to reverse our copy command like copy into stage from table name. So with that syntax, we can first load the data into external stage or internal stage. Okay. The second step is then we can download those files from the stage. Suppose we are loading the data into internal stage of Snowflake. Then by using uh, the get command, we can download those data files into our desktop or uh, Unix or Linux servers. Suppose if we are unloading the data into directly Amazon S3 buckets, okay, then we can easily view those files. Okay, the same way if we are generating the files in Azure containers, we can uh, we have interfaces or tools provided by Microsoft Azure to view those data files or to download those data files. So there are only two steps. One is uh, first of all we have to put. Uh, we have to unload the data into external stage or internal stage then okay uh, we can download those files okay suppose if we are the unloading the data to internal stage by using get command we can unload we can uh, get those files otherwise if we are unloading the data to external stages that means azure uh, azure containers or uh, um, aws s3 buckets then we can download those files Okay, so this is simple two step process. Let's see. Okay, the syntax I as I just told the syntax is simple copy into the stage. It can be internal stage or external stage. We have to mention the stage object name here copy into stage object from table name. So if we want to put fully qualified table name, it's like a, a database name dot schema name dot table name. Okay, and there are some options we can use actually with the unloading uh, copy command. Okay, let's see what are those options. So there are five options that support uh, unload operation. Okay, uh, that are supported by unload operation. So they are first one is overwrite. The values can be true or false. Uh, it specifies to overwrite the existing files or not. Whenever we put so first of all, suppose we have unloaded data from snowflake tables to some set of files in the s3 bucket or internal stage okay so if i run the same copy command to uh, if i run the same same copy command to unload the data again okay it will skip uh, uh, it will it will skip generating those files by default the default option is fault false but whenever you put overwrite overwrite equals to true as the option then it will overwrite the files at the destination that can be internal stage or external stages uh, on the aws s3 buckets okay so the second one is single option name is single the possible values can be true or false it specifies whether to generate a single file or multiple files suppose uh, whenever we we are unloading the data uh, and if we don't mention any property what it will by default it will split the data into multiple files Suppose I have a table with the 1 GB data and whenever I run copy command copy into stage uh, from that uh, table. Okay, it will generate multiple files files of a small size. But if I want to generate a single file. Okay, with the complete data set, then I have to mention the option like a single equals to true. Then whatever the GB, whatever the GB of data. 
uh, the table is holding it will generate single file okay that is uh, single the next one is maximum file size so if we want to generate uh, uh, files uh, if we want to split the data our own suppose i have 1 gb data and i have to split it into 100 mb 100 mb files then we, it will generate uh, some 10 plus files okay like that if i want to specifically mention the file size i can give maximum file size equals to the number of bytes we have to give the next one is include query id equals to true or false so this property specifies whether to uniquely identify unloaded files by using by including a universal unique unique identifier so we know right query id so whenever we run some query in the snowflake id a query id is will be associated with the query we are running so whenever we mention this property include query id then the file names will be included uh, the query id will be included in the file names generated by that copy command okay the last one is detailed output the possible values can be true or false so whenever we mention detailed output equals to true uh, it will show the path and name of name for each file its size and number of rows that were loaded to that file so whenever we run uh, copy command without this property it will say simply it has generated files or uh, the unloading is uh, successfully completed but whenever you mention this property whenever you mention this option detailed output equals to true then in the output so whenever the that unloading process is completed the output will come right at the bottom so that output will show you uh, the path and name for each file so where the file was generated the path will uh, the path it will show the path and what is the file size and the number of rows loaded into that file everything it will show so it will give us the detailed output okay so these are the unloading options okay let's see practically how we can unload the data from snowflake tables to external stages okay so today i will explain how to load the data from snowflake tables to external stages that is aws s3 buckets okay okay so i have prepared already the commands let me copy all these things first of all so create the required database and schemas suppose i want to create uh, some file format object as a part of this process and i want to create external stage to load the uh, files on the external stages so i am creating uh, the required databases and schemas for that so the commands are like this if the database already exists this uh, that will be uh, the creation of database will be ignored otherwise it will create the database with this name okay so i'm creating this database but uh, this database is already present so it will skip creating another database and i'm creating uh, this schema and i'm creating uh, uh, one uh, this schema for uh, storing the external stages and this schema is creating uh, storing file format objects okay so i have explained clearly in the previous videos uh, what is meant by external stage what is meant by file file format right so if you see we have this uh, uh, schemas ready now and so directly let me run let me create a file format object okay and let me create a stage object and uh, try to unload the data and let's see what will happen okay so first of all i am creating a file format object uh, with this command and the name csv file format okay so i want to generate the files the output files uh, uh, of a csv type and the field delimiter will be a pipe symbol okay and i want to skip the header okay so like this i am creating one file format object okay then i want to create a stage object so i am in my stage object i am referencing uh, this storage integration objects that i had created in my previous videos that is s3 integration 
and the folder name i want to where i want to put my files okay where i want to generate my files on the s3 bucket is output okay so uh, this is my s3 bucket okay aws s3 bucket jena and uh, this is where i want to put uh, or i want to generate the files okay after unloading the data okay and the storage integration object i have created this already right so i am using the same so if you want to create this uh, if you don't know how to create a storage integration object you can watch my previous video uh, with the name aws snowflake integration there i have explained how to integrate a snowflake with the aws okay and i am referencing the file format object that uh, we have created in the previous step okay <coughs> okay now see what it is saying okay so this is i wanted to show so while creating the s3 integration object we haven't provided uh, the storage alert location uh, for this folder right uh, and we we are not sure like this folder is present in the aws s3 bucket or not okay so let's go to aws we have to this folder should present in that uh, aws s3 bucket right otherwise we cannot create this stage ob stage object right so let's go to aws page so this is my aws s3 bucket okay and if you see the output folder is not there there are only uh, three folders with the name csv json and pipes okay so let's create a new folder with the name output okay okay now we can see the output folder now let's try to create the stage object and uh, see what will happen okay create or replace stage command i am running again still it is throwing the error because even though we have created this folder uh, we haven't uh, modified our s3 integration object right so in the s3 integration object what we have to do we have to add this output folder as well so as of now we have added a csv json and pipes right but we haven't added this location so how we can do this so either we can do this in two ways so completely create or replace your storage integration objects or just alter your storage integration object uh, and add this uh, under the storage allocated storage allowed locations okay so these are uh, these three are already present i want to add this okay so that's why i'm altering alter storage integration s3 integr s3 int set storage allocated locations equals to storage allowed locations equals to the set of locations okay so i am running this command so now it's executed successfully now this should work our stage creation okay now it is working and the stage object has been created with the name my s3 output now if i want to unload the data so i have to unload uh, to this stage so this stage is anyway referencing to this s3 bucket location so whenever i unload the data to this s3 uh, this stage object then the files will be generated in this folder okay let's see how this will happen okay so this is the syntax i have explained right copy into the stage object we have created copy into stage object from snowflake table okay so we know right so i i'm using the ta tables we have uh, tables already available in the sample data okay so this is one of the table right tpch sf1 is one of the schema and the customer is the table okay so how to get this uh, sample data in the newer version of snowflake i have already explained okay so even it's not there so i have to get it so how to get it let's see let's copy this name okay go to home data private sharing so i have explained this many times right so that's why i am not uh, telling anything okay this is the sample data just click on this and this window will appear so you can uh, just mention the database name okay i am just giving snowflake sample data and click on get data 
okay done now let's come back data so here you can see snowflake sample data okay and if you open uh, there are uh, different schemas available okay i'm taking this uh, i am just taking the data from this table tpch1 and sf underscore customer okay so how many records are there in this table so 150k records are there in this table so i want to unload all this data into aws s3 files so let's see that okay come to worksheets again okay and run this try to run this command copy into the stage object we have created okay here i am not giving any file name just observe so i am not giving any file name later we'll give file name so we, if we don't give any file name let's see what will happen okay so i am running this command copy into stage object from sample data dot uh, the schema dot customer okay so it is saying uh, it is successfully completed unload and rows unloaded are 150k okay and this is input uh, these many bytes uh, were written into the files okay let's go to aws s3 bucket open output folder okay there here you can see so the data was unloaded into three files of different sizes okay 4.3 mb 1.7 2.6 Okay, I told you right. So all the data will not be copied into a single file by default unless until we mention the property single equals to true. So now it has generated three files. And if you observe, I, I haven't given any file name. So whenever we don't give any file name, okay, uh, it will by default it will be unloaded to data something like this data 00 z data 02 data 03 like this it will be it will give some default files and if you see by default they are zipped files okay so like this the data will be unloaded into uh, external stages the same way we can unload into internal stages also you know right how to create an internal stage and uh, so the same way we can create internal stages here and we can run the same command by referencing internal stage here okay so i am not uh, executing those commands anyway today I will explain about how different options now available with the unloading copy command. Okay. So the same way if, if I want to see what are all the files generated. Okay. In the test three location. Okay. So I can execute this command list command. So the same files we have seen right. So this is the full path of that uh, data file that was generated. So the same data three files with the name data something like this okay okay and uh, let's go through the options we'll execute all these options so what will happen if we use these options let's see okay but uh, i hope you understood how to um, unload the data into external stages or internal stages from snowflake table so this is the snowflake table and this is the external stage location okay external stage object and this uh, stage object is reference referencing to the external stage location uh, this is the one external cloud storage location and we can see the same from this aws s3 buckets okay so these are the different uh, options available with the unloading uh, uh, copy command right let's go through each and everything okay so now let's see how we can uh, uh, choose our file name so whenever i executed the unloading command previous uh, time so it it has generated three files and it has given a default name data underscore something like that but i don't want to put my file name as data something so as this is customer data i want to put uh, the file name as customer underscore something like that okay that's why i am uh, giving my file name as well so where to give the file name so here in the copy command copy into the stage object name and that then put slash and give the file name of your choice okay and from this table and let's try to execute this command okay so now if you see rows unloaded is uh, th this much okay 
the same and let let's go to aws s3 bucket and uh, just refresh this now it has generated three files again with a 4.3 mb 2.6 mb and 1.7 mb but if you see here instead of data they are starting with the name we have given customer customer 01 customer 02 customer 03 like that so whatever the file name we have given the file the files generated with the same name okay but i don't want to mention <coughs> the next one is i want to specify the maximum file size of each file we are generating at the output okay i want to generate each file with uh, some 2 mb like that so if you see here uh, this is um, 1 kb 100 kb 1000 kb okay so 2 mb files i want to generate okay there are 10 mb so it should be uh, around 5 5 files should be generated okay that's why i am specifying the maximum file size as 2 to uh 2mb okay let's run this command so it is throwing some error so what it is saying files already exist with with this uh, name okay uh, in the stage uh, in the stage location the files already exist with the same name so you use overwrite option to force unloading okay so i have explained right overwrite is one of the options we can use so if i want to regenerate the files with the same name what i have to do i have to put this command uh, put this option as well okay overwrite equals to true now let's see so here i am explaining both the options maximum file size option and over overwrite option i am using both okay now this is done let's go to aws s3 bucket and refresh this now if you see so the maximum file size is uh, uh, it is taking uh, something 1.9 mb like that okay so you ignore uh, these files let's let's order with the modified date okay so these are the files just now generated uh, customer 0, 0, 0, 001 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 3, 1. like this it has generated okay so 192 okay anyway we have kept overwrite right that's why the previous files uh, got deleted and these are the file names coming now so if you observe uh, for some of the files it is uh, uh, it is showing only 499 429 kb 657 kb like that okay it has not overwritten all the files some of the files it has overwritten wherever the name is matching okay so if you are getting confused what you can do you can simply delete these files okay you can delete these files and rerun that command okay i'm deleting all these customer files okay we have deleted and there are only data files here so now i'm running this command okay now this is completed let's come back here and just refresh now you can see here okay so it has generated uh, these many files okay 1.123456 uh, i am not sure why it has uh, it is generating 1.7 and 429 something like that maybe some partition something it is using i am not sure but uh, the maximum it cannot guarantee the exact file size is 2 mb okay the maximum file size is 2 mb it can uh, take 1 mb 1.9 mb some kb it can it can take anything but it will not cross 2 mb because uh, in the uh, command we have specified the maximum file size allowed is 2 mb only okay that's why it is not crossing 2 mb so if you see the previous uh, uh, previous commands it has generated a file of 4.3 mb because we did not specify the maximum file size there okay i hope you are understanding the maximum file size can be 2 mb okay and if i want to see the output files generated by using this command we can see okay list you can see the same customer and data files whatever present in the stage location 
okay so that is about uh, uh, how we can specify the file name okay and how we can specify maximum file size and how we can specify overwrite equals to true okay now i want to generate uh, in a single file okay so as of now we have seen it was generating three files earlier then we when we specified the maximum file size equals to 2 mb then it was generating six files but now my requirement is i want to generate a, a single file with 10 mb of data so how we can do so this is the command copy into okay uh, the copy into this uh, stage location external stage location and i want to put my customer file name as simply cust cust from okay this is the table i want to unload into my s3 buckets okay and i'm mentioning the property single equals to true okay let's see what will happen so it has unloaded the same number of records okay and let's go to aws s3 bucket and try refreshing now you can see here okay so it has generated a single file with the name cust that uh, we have given uh, the file name as cust here right so it has generated a single file with the cust and the file size is 8.6 mb okay so this is how we can use uh, this uh, single option and if i want to see the detailed output okay so what is the detailed output i have explained right so detail whenever we mention detailed output equals to true then it will display all uh, path of that file each and every file name uh, its size and number of rows uh, that were unloaded to that file it will display everything okay let's see so i am running this command okay copy into uh, this uh, s3 bucket with the name and i want to uh, give my file name as a customer underscore data cust data okay from the same table i am unloading okay and detailed output i am mentioning equals to true so earlier whenever we running the command so it was giving output like this simply uh, rows number of rows unloaded input bytes and output bytes but whenever i give this detailed output equals to true let's see what will happen okay you, you can see here right the file name it is giving the file size it is giving and the number of records uh, uh, to each and every file okay so in the first file it has uh, unloaded 75000 records in the next uh, file it has unloaded 30000 records and in the last file it has unloaded 45000 records so it will give detailed output uh, the number of uh, 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 it will dis display all the files with the file size and the number of rows unloaded to that file okay so this is just for output purpose viewing output differently okay and if you want to see the same files in the aws s3 bucket you can come and refresh your s3 bucket now it is showing cus data cus data cus data of three files okay the same we, we can see here in the output of this command okay uh, that is about detailed output okay so that's it about uh, unloading the data we don't have much to discuss okay what you have to remember first of all what is unloading okay unloading means copying the table table records into external stages or internal stages this is just a reverse to the data loading in data loading we load the data from external stages and internal stages into snowflake tables but in unloading we just do the reverse we load the data uh, that is present in the snowflake tables into external stages or internal stages and this is the syntax uh, just reverse to the uh, loading data syntax copy into stage name from table name and we can provide some options these are the different options we can use along uh, with the unloading copy command okay so this is about unloading okay i will um, provide all this uh, SQL queries in the description of this video so you can take them and you can practice okay and if you have any doubts you can reach me on the email ID provided in this video okay thank you friends bye thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel
and if you have any doubts you can reach me on this email id thank you